So we've all struggled with buying a gift for somebody, but buying a plant as a gift is perfect. Plants make people happy. Plants are beautiful. A lot of plants are pretty easy to care for. When you see your plant growing and unfurling new leaves and blooming, it makes you happy and it makes you feel like you have accomplished something. So plants really are good to give as gifts. But today I'm going to show you guys five plants that are good to give as gifts, five plants that are not so good to give as gifts. So if you guys would like to see what plants are good to give as gifts, then keep on watching. Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. So as you read on the title, I'm going to show you which plants I think are good to give as gifts. So I love giving plants as gifts, um, but one day I was in the grocery store and I was buying a velvet calathea. When I got up to the register, the cashier was like, oh, would you like me to cut that tag off for you? And I was like, no, that's okay, the plant's for me. And she said, oh, really? Most people buy plants as gifts. So then I started thinking, I'm like, if I bought somebody, let's choose my sister for example. My sister has no, no interest in plants, and I know if I bought her a velvet calathea as a gift, that plant would probably last a week in her house. So I wouldn't consider that a very good gift. But if you would like to purchase a plant as a gift for somebody, and you want them to be successful with that plant, so potentially they can go and buy more and more plants like all of us, um, then let me show you which five plants I think would be best for gifts. So the first plant that I would recommend if you'd like to buy a plant for somebody as a gift would be the Sansevieria. So there are many types of Sansevieria. There are um, different colors. Um, you have different sizes. You have, you know, the small little bird's nest Sansevieria. Um, you have larger Sansevierias. So I highly recommend Sansevierias as gifts. Um, super easy to care for plant. Water them, give them light, and fertilize them once in a while and they will be your best friend. So these plants are on my, these plants would be my number one um, plant to give as a gift. Second plant on my list to give as a gift would be a pothos. So once again there are many types of pothos. The easiest one that I think to care for is the golden pothos. So these plants are super easy to care for. They do tolerate low light. They do like bright light. You can pretty much put them anywhere in your house bedroom, bathroom, living rooms, kitchens, they pretty much will do great no matter where you put them. They are beautiful. They come in so many different sizes. They come in a lot of different varieties. So you have the golden pothos. You have a marble queen pothos. This one is very beautiful. It's very different from the golden pothos pretty much the same requirements. I would give this one a little more light than I would give the Golden Pothos. Um, watering is about the same. Very easy plants to take care of. And then if you want to even get a little bit fancy and give somebody a Neon Pothos. So this one is um, a beautiful plant. Pretty much the same requirements easy to grow. You can put it anywhere in your house. Make sure that you keep it watered about once a week to once every week and a half um, just until the soil feels dry and these plants would make great gifts for somebody. The third plant on my list would be the ZZ plant. So ZZ plants are also very easy to take care of. They do tolerate low light, they tolerate medium light, and they also tolerate bright light. 
They're very easy to care for. Water them maybe every two weeks. These plants are susceptible to overwatering. I have seen them in like Lowe's and Home Depot where they're so overwatered that the stalks of the plant are just pure mush. So that is one thing to caution the person that you're buying the, the plant for is not to overwater this plant. But that's most plants, right? So this plant is very beautiful. It grows, so I have this one that grows straight up. It's a smaller plant, but then I have this one that grows all over the place. So these plants are very beautiful, very easy to take care of. Highly recommend this plant to buy as a gift. And so the fourth plant that I would recommend as a gift would be philodendron. So I have three different varieties here. I have the green leaf philodendron. This one is super easy. It is a trailing plant, super easy to care for. Um, just give it enough light, make sure it stays water. Um, it does like to dry out pretty much in between waterings. Um, and then also we have the neon philodendron. This one is also easy to care for. It sits in my south facing dining area. It has produced a lot of new leaves for me since I've had it. Seems to be a fast growing plant. Easy, very easy to care for. And another one that I highly recommend to give as a gift, super easy grower, would be the Philodendron Brazil. This plant grows very fast. It trails. Um, watering is very easy. Just water when the soil is dry. Give it, I would give this one a little bit more light. It does sit closer to my south facing window so it does appreciate a little bit more light. And it, it produces new leaves all the time for me. It is a pretty fast grower. So this is another plant that I would recommend as a gift. It would make the person that you're giving the gift to feel like they can accomplish something and that they can take care of something, keep it alive, watch it grow. It's just a boost of confidence and I think it's a great gift. Now the last plant on my list of my top five is probably one, it is one of my favorite plants. Highly, highly recommend this plant as a gift for somebody and it is Syngonium. Syngonium are one of my favorite plants. I would totally recommend this plant to give to somebody as a gift. Very easy to care for. They do like to keep their soil pretty moist. I do water these plants more than I water most of my plants in my home. Other than my peace lily, they like to be watered often as well. As long as you give these plants water, enough sunlight, they will do great for you. There are so many different varieties of arrowhead plants. I highly recommend Syngonium or arrowhead plant as a gift. Super easy to care for plants. Now that we've talked about five plants that are best to give as gifts, let's talk about five plants that I would not recommend to give as gifts. First plant would be an African mask or an alocasia. These plants are not so easy to take care of. You like their soil to dry out, but not too much. You have to keep an eye on their watering. They're very finicky plants, but once you get the routine down, they're pretty easy plants. I went through probably two African mask plants before I finally figured it out. And now I have three and I have multiple other alocasias, which that I totally love, but they are under a humidifier and above a humidifier. So that's why they do so great. I do keep an eye on their watering, but I do not recommend these plants as gifts. They're just too much to take care of. Somebody that is not experienced with plants would probably get fed up with this plant and toss it in the trash. So this plant is one that I would not recommend as a gift. The next 
plant on my list would be croton or croton. These plants are also very finicky. They do like bright light. They do like their soil to stay moist. I also have been through probably three of these plants. This plant so far is doing very well, so I'm very happy, but it does sit right by my south facing window on the top of the shelf. I do monitor the soil on this one. I make sure that it stays moist. I make sure that I clean the leaves often. I make sure that it stays in the bright light. So this plant would not be a good plant to give somebody as a gift. It's just too much to take care of and it would discourage them from getting any more plants. The next plant that I would not recommend to give somebody as a gift would be a Maranta. These plants are very beautiful. They're very tempting to give somebody as a gift because when you give a gift, you want to give something beautiful. You want to give something that looks stunning, but I would not recommend a Maranta as a gift. These plants as well, like the humidity, they do sit by my humidifier, so they do very well. They also like light, not too much light, but they do like light. These plants are just too high maintenance to give somebody as a gift. The next plant that I would recommend that you do not give somebody as a gift would be Calathea or Calathea. These plants are also very high maintenance. These plants do like humidity. They also sit by my humidifier. They do pretty well. They do require distilled water. They do not like tap water. So you really don't want to give a plant to somebody that is going to get fed up with buying distilled water at the store or using filtered water. Most of the time we just want to take our plant to the sink or fill up our watering can and water our plants. We don't have, want to have to deal with going to the store, making sure that we always have distilled water on hand. Plant people that love plants and are around plants all the time, we really don't mind that. But somebody that is just starting out or it's a gift, they don't want to have a high maintenance plant that they have to go out to the store and buy distilled water for. So I do not recommend these Calatheas as gifts. Once again, they are very beautiful plants. They're very tempting to give as a gift because they have very striking foliage, but I do not recommend them as a gift. The last plant on the list that I do not recommend as a gift would be a stromanthi. These plants are super finicky. I water this plant with distilled water and it still gets browning leaves. It, I guess it doesn't get enough humidity, which they love humidity. I try my best to take care of this plant and it is growing new leaves, but it is just a super finicky plant to take care of. You do have to keep your eye on this one. You do have to water it with distilled water. You have to keep it in bright light, but not direct sunlight. You do have to keep humidity around this plant. It's just too much for somebody, a new plant parent, to take care of. So I would not recommend this plant as a gift. Even though it is super beautiful and I enjoy it every single day, I just would not recommend it as a gift. So those are my top five plants to buy as gifts and also my top five plants that I would not buy as gifts. I hope this was helpful to everybody. Let me know if you guys buy plants as gifts. They really are wonderful gifts because plants do make people happy, so they are awesome to give as gifts. But make sure that when you are giving a gift that you give something that doesn't re require distilled water or humidity, bright sun. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you'd like to see more videos like this. And until next time guys, bye!